What's up, ladies and gents, boys and girls of all ages, Brian and Denny with ETM, Denny, and, oh, there he is, <laughs> and Denny with ETM 540 Clubhouse, back in the freaking shop, feels like it's been forever, but we're super stoked because we have a little announcement, ETM 540 Clubhouse has gone electric, now hear me out, have we gone soft? No. Have we conformed to the whole electric hype? Hell no. Are we jumping on the electric motorcycle bandwagon? Nee, well, I don't know, maybe a little. No, no we're not. Fuel pump mafia motherfucker. Allow me to explain. So Mamba Ronda Pockets and I were out thrift storing and we just so happened to come across this beast which this beast has been talking about wanting to build. So we got a super freaking good deal. It cost us 20 bucks. And we brought it home to his excitement to where we can build up a Razor LTR 735. Razor 3521 LT? Razor 1000 XP 215. It's a Razor MX PT 3419.2 carry the nine right yeah <laughs> damn it okay so apparently i looked it up in my brain and it is a razor um fastback uh supercharged turbo uh support coupe k okay. okay what is it what are they called again it is a mx650 boom razor mx650 which happens to be the best model to get for modifications, correct? Second best. What's the biggest one beyond that, like, or the better one? Um, the SX500. There you go. So we're one step away. But the cool thing about it was that literally this was a thrift store find buy that ended up being a really good condition overall for modification type project. So like I said, he's been wanting to do one for a while, so we freaking got one. We ended up ordering the parts. I'll put a little... Eh. And where's the other one, Denny, going to be at? Mm. Oh, right in my face? No, you got to do it over there so it doesn't cover this. Mm. There it is. Mm. Boom. So those are the parts that we initially ordered. And we're also going to be doing some painting and, you know, cleanup and overall stuff to make it look better. We just so happen to have a whole nother set of plastics that are up there that now that i think about it we kind of need a taller ladder to get to <laughs> but we'll eventually get those down and then for now we're just gonna strip this biscuit down now we're gonna have to spread it out over the course of a few days because we're still waiting on the battery because we got to paint all that stuff so for today the plan is just to get this biscuit stripped down to the point where we can start painting. And what uh, color scheme you want to go with on this one? Black and red. <laughs> Mother So to kick things off, I'm gonna have him start taking the plastics off, start taking off the electronic covers, and then we could probably actually take the bars off too. We're just gonna go, we're just gonna do it. But first we gotta start with at least the plastic. So let's get that rocking right now. Ready? Hut, hut, hut. Excuse me? That was weird. I never do. Why did I do that? I don't ever do that. It's disgusting. Nice work, homie. <laughs> we don't do that. That's weird. <laughs> All right, so that kid has got all this taken off so far, which is freaking awesome. So this side is actually stuff that we we think and probably are going to reuse. Definitely reusing that. And this side we're just going to leave for kind of like the uh, recycled goods slash possibly use for our, what's that one called? An MX125 or 250? Mm -hmm. MX, oh, it's a 350. So we may be able to use some parts for this bad boy because we're going to get... I don't know if you can see it. Oh, we're going to get that one going for one of the little guys. So now that we got our nice little stack going over here, 
Uh, I think it's time to start taking some electronics off. What do you think? Yeah. Freaking hell yeah. Let's get into the heart of this biscuit. Now, quite honestly, I haven't messed around with enough of these to know specifically what you're supposed to do in order to be safe and to take it off. And well, I know the recycling process, but just taking it off properly to where nothing's going to happen. We're always safe in the shop. You guys know that. But these are linked together in a weird way. And so, I mean, quite honestly, it's it's going to be kind of like diffusing a bomb, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Not it. Yeah. All right, well, he's going to suit up, and then we're going to see what happens. <laughs> Is all this really necessary? Yep, get to it. Let's go. Okay. No, I don't think I should cut the red. <coughs> Alright, well, now that we know that it couldn't really explode any more than it already has, <laughs> I think we can get into uh, cutting the rest of the wires and... Wait, what? Wires? Yeah, no, we need to cut more wires. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now we can actually start really tearing into the electronics and getting the rest of it ripped down and fully like gutting the thing and, and getting it ready for the new electronics so um i think that's what we're gonna do now uh he's gonna clean himself up because he's a freaking mess but you know he took one for the team so we got to give him props for that but yeah let's get to getting the rest of this crap off and seeing what we can get down to bare chassis wise to see what we're working with yeah i haven't done one of those yet i love it all right, so while Denny gets cleaned up over there, uh, I just want to show you guys kind of like the simplicity of what the Razer MX650s have as far as their mounting brackets and whatnot. So they do have three separate batteries, which I believe are all 12 volts, and um, they're all linked together by fuses, but they're literally just held in by these brackets, and a majority of it is pretty well set up for... The conversion we're going to do we may have to modify some stuff but for the most part it's i think going to be plug and play so we're just going to take out the computer uh motor batteries and anything electronic related and then uh fenders and all that good stuff so probably no need to video it the more interesting stuff is going to be when we put the new stuff in so we're just going to time love uh, time love this i to that time lapse so like he said we're gonna time lapse this process because it's gonna be pretty quick i think and we're taking bolts off and removing things you know how that goes yeah let's go
All right, well, she stripped down. I mean, stripped down. And we managed to save some parts, have some parts for the uh, throwaway, maybe reuse pile for the other bike. Uh, but for the most part, she's in good working order as far as having like a little base to work off of. From here, we just need to see what's gonna work, what's reusable, what gets painted, what doesn't, you know, and just go from there. But we need to call it for the day, head out. We got some other stuff that we need to do. And in the meantime, yeah, we're just gonna get on jamming. But anyways, this is what we ended up with. From this side, this is all stuff that's pretty much unusable for this project. This is stuff that we're possibly going to reuse and definitely reuse. And then this guy has been super patient because we did get the motor and the uh, controls and the computer and all that in the mail yesterday, or actually I think it was two days ago, but he's been really excited. So I told him let's wait until we do it on video and go from there. So now we're gonna open this box up. <laughs> Wasteland baby. Yeah, don't cut your finger off. Rhonda will be pissed. Yeah, and now it's just shredded. Just use your hands and grow some testicles. So for those of you who are wondering, we are going with a 60 volt, how many watt? 2,000 watt. 2,000 watt setup. All right, so I'm assuming that's the computer setup. The controller. Controller setup. Dang, getting all fancy, what? And there's our hand controls. What? This looks exactly what they had it on mine, so. It's always nice to see that it matches what you ordered because sometimes you just don't know. Oh, and it's got Ford reverse. Ford and reverse, yes. Reverse wheelies. <laughs> those are actually really good. We're kind of bummed that they're blue because it's not the color scheme, but those are nice. They got a little billet aluminum, so that's sweet. Um, that's probably just all the hardware. Let's see the motor. Pull the motor out. Screw that. That's hardware. Blah. Blah. You want to look at nuts and nuts? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? That's sweet. Okay. Hang on, you're gonna need some help. <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> they package this thing really well. Okay. Yay! Seven hours later. Seven hours later. Nice. That's a good looking motor. Oh, and it came with a sprocket. Sweet! you just slap your motor? Yeah, my motor. Apparently it really is now. All right, so this is what comes in the kit. Well, not that, here you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but those are gonna go on. We're gonna try those out. These are some moose racing that we had laying around. They're pretty cool because they're black and they look good. And they may be a little short, but we'll see. But for right now, we're gonna try those. But this is what the kit comes with. I'm gonna move that. Hey, stop eyeballing my nuts. Anyways, this is what it comes with. Motor, controller, a hand control, and the hardware kit. This was, I think, 132? 38, yeah. 128? Yeah. Well, how much was this one? This was, yeah, something like that. It'll be on the picture thing, right? There right. you go. There. there. Where? Right there. Where? Where? No, right there. Ah, there it is. And pretty much, as far as the controller and all that, we're going to have to find a way to make it fit, but we'll figure it out. And uh, yeah, it's a good little kit. So I'm hoping everything will function. We will find out. But until we get the battery, we're going to call it good, especially because we got stuff to do for the rest of the day. But now we have a nice little, nice little start. So we will be back once the battery gets here to keep going on it or we'll come back and we'll paint i don't know you know how we do with these things so we'll see you in a little bit yeah <laughs> i apologize i'm fighting a freaking a freaking cold thanks to this guy so anyways day two that's how we're breaking this biscuit down because usually we'll do like, we don't really specify how many days we're working on stuff, but this time, instead of um, just kind of doing the video, I'm just going to let you guys know how long it's taken us. So this is day two on this biscuit that this guy and I have been jamming out on. We uh, just got this all ready to start doing some paint because I think today 
we're going to at least at the minimum get the rims painted uh what color are we doing black black because we love black and red so that's the plan so denny's going to take some parts off i'm just gonna time lapse because of the fact that paint prep is freaking boring <laughs> and if you guys have been following for a while you know that i hate dealing with paint crap so we're just going to do a little time lapse action of getting this stuff ready at least do the wheels i think we're going to be able to do either the forks or the rear swing arm today maybe since we got the black paint out um but we'll we'll freaking figure it out so far so good everything's going well we want to keep that freaking ball rolling and uh go for me let's do this yeah <laughs> You, do you have nothing? Freaking kids these days! Kids these days! That's right. See, there we go. Some energy finally. Jesus Christ. I never thought the apocalypse would be boring I was expecting more of a bang, less of a sigh Shows implied would be exciting, but I still don't know anyone who's died. Here we are, finally on our knees, waiting for the world to shake us off like a bad case of the flea. That I would miss other people Other places, other things more than I do Things can be replaced And places can be rearranged And the only one who'll notice it is you Here we are Finally on our knees Waiting for the world to shake us off Like a bad case of the fleas Do you remember what it was like before you were born? It won't be long before you're back there once again To tell the truth I can't remember much of anything these days It's like they say in our beginning is our end So here we are Finally on our knees Shaking with each curse and every cough So here we are Finally on our Alright, after literal hours of prep Yes, all that time lapse that you saw was like probably six or seven hours worth of prep because that's how much we love prepping we will prep for hours on end and not even complain once because we're professional painters that's how we roll but i got this guy tightening up spokes on the front wheel as you guys saw front wheel's got a little bit of a flat spot little dink dink but we tried to true it out as best as possible so now we're gonna we're gonna upgrade eventually so for now we're just gonna utilize what we got so for now i'm gonna primer and use a special technique and method patented by etm 540 clubhouse patent number 3412.98 a b751 look in your government website it's there trust me and we are going to spray these things and hopefully get uh, color on them before we go because we got to get jamming because we got stuff to do so uh, I'll show you the method. And if you do use this method, just make sure you send a check to uh, and in care of ETM 540 Clubhouse. I am not going to give you my address. California 934. Not telling you the rest. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, step one. All right, no, I'm done. Oh, and just a little... Heads up, yes, I'm not masking off anything else going on because we're painting that stuff too anyway, so there's no point. But we are going to give her a nice little 
primer base and then from there we can paint so we're just gonna do one of these ah! mother flipping fart trucker and she's just gonna get a nice little even coat and you'll probably see it more on the other side i think i may have primered our bearings because they just quieted down <laughs> There you go, now you can really see it. And you can see all the chemicals that I'm breathing in too. It's amazing. And voila! She's primered, bitches. Hell yeah, it turned out freaking great. Probably no imperfections anywhere. So basically, we're going to do the same thing to the front wheel as well as when we paint it. No need to freaking go through the whole process of you having to hear me talk all over again. So I'm going to shut my freaking mouth and make all the rest of it happen. Happen. Mm, about time you got on the gravy train. <laughs> the only reason to quit is because it's all been done before. It's been done to death, namely by you and me. So you reinvent yourself like the heroes done before. Before they all got bored, why think you ain't like them? All right, well, it worked pretty freaking damn good. I definitely oversprayed in some areas, as I always do. But for the most part, as far as the evenness goes, it's all there. So I am going to go ahead and leave it set up like this because with how our skylights are, the sun hits this area, as you can tell. And uh, I'm hoping that it'll, it'll bake the uh, paint into that. And, you know, like I said, these are just going to be for now because we got them and for now, they look pretty freaking good. So we're going to call it good because this is, uh, well, you know, good for now. And I'll probably come back and do some touch-ups to them, but for now, we'll just let that bake in. Did you say bacon? You said bacon. You said bacon. You said bacon. I really want some bacon now. Me too. <laughs> it sounds really good. So we're gonna go get some bacon. Wow, this bakes in. God, those actually turned out really freaking good. I'm stoked. And look at that, the freaking project gods. Oh. They love shining down upon us. So anyways, we'll see you guys when we come back for the next steps, which I don't know what it's going to be yet. Probably more painting. And then we'll go from there. Whoop. Yep. <laughs> Whatever. What's up, ladies and germs? Back to it. Literally two weeks later. Why do you look so stiff and weird? Because I'm stiff, weirdo. <laughs> it was funny. So yeah, two weeks later, we had some stuff going on. Freaking sue me. But this is technically day three of working on the old electric motorcycle. The uh, Razor MXP 2501. What? Six feet. Six feet, whatever, same thing. So... We uh, were able to get a few more coats on the wheels where we left off. I stopped by after work, knocked out a couple of those. And I think today we're going to focus on painting the swing arm and the frame and possibly the forks and the forks. And the forks? Yeah, I don't Maybe. Yeah, we'll, we'll maybe. We'll get to it. And then uh, we'll let them sit again and do some more touch-up. And then come back during the week and possibly start assembling some electronic devices. Yeah yes so yeah i know i was saying that we're gonna pretty much keep track of how many days we're actually working on this and i did say day three but technically this is like day one because the first couple days we did what like a couple hours two three hours maybe yeah. for each day so we haven't even fully put a full day into it yet so right now this would probably be like the end of a full work day on it and then uh but physically and mathematically and calendarly it's a three day day three third day thing so as usual you don't need to see us freaking untighten bolts and nuts we're gonna time lapse this biscuit and uh 
Just make it a time lapse, lapse or lapse, lapsing. I like untying my nuts and bolts. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I like untying my god this is getting weird all right so we're gonna time lapse it tear it down paint it freaking we'll see you after that <laughs> We're done painting for the day. First coat's on. We decided to do add a little number play piece with a little ETM 540 Clubhouse Wasteland flare. You know what I mean? There, oh, where is it? It, it, oh, there it is. We gotta add some of that. Mama Rhonda came by. <laughs> She's working on the patrol. But we're gonna let this bake in for the night. Come back tomorrow, put another coat on it so that way it's all nice and yeah. <laughs> And then from there, we could start assembling. Are you excited for that? Yeah. Are you happy for that? Yeah. So that's it for now. 
and we're pretty stoked on how the paint came out. It actually came out a lot better than I thought. Some of this stuff was pretty scuffed up and whatnot. And I mean, it's an older MX650R 351 2.588. No. What do you mean? You already said MX650. Yeah, 3.52187XRL81. Okay, same thing. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, day four. Well, still, I think, technically in day one. Maybe day two now. Day two. Yeah, we're, like, creeping into day two. But, fourth physical day of being here. And, uh... We're going to close this thing out by putting this thing back together. The freaking paint came out amazing. It literally for a spray bomb job. job. Spray get bob. Spray back get bob. Spray job. Yep. Spray get bob. Spray bomb job. For a spray bomb job, it actually came out really good. And the paint looks rad. I think the color scheme is going to look sick. Are you happy with it? Yeah. We were talking about possibly clear coating, but... I think for now, because we might make some alterations to the chassis and this and that, we're just going to leave it as is so we can piece it back together. And at least right now, we're going to get it put to back together with the forks, rear swing arm, wheels. We'll put the handlebars on. Oh, yeah. Handlebars. And then uh, just have a rolling chassis. We're not going to do the tires yet because we need to patch the rear tube. Because we have it. We have a patch kit. We might as well do it. And then we'll go from there. So, anyways... We're going to freaking time lapse this biscuit nut sack and get right to it. You ready? Yeah, I've been ready. Let's freaking go, bitches! Too. Let's stand back a sec and just appreciate what it looks like now. <laughs> Are you happy? Yeah. I'm freaking happy. Holy crap. That looks amazing. I mean, compared to what we started with and what we put in within a little over a day, that's sick, kid. Yeah. I'm happy for you. You want to sit on it and see? Like, actually get up there? Yeah, you should. You totally should. <laughs> yeah, don't. you might not want to sit on that. <laughs> Oi! So, yeah, tires aren't on yet, and we still obviously got to put the seat in the plastics and everything. But as far as actually size-wise, that is suiting you quite well. 
and it looks sick. And I'm really happy with the color scheme and how it turned out in that sense. Just because it's not too much red, it's not too much black, it's a good mix. But we'll see what happens once we put the plastics on. Are you freaking stoked or what? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to get right to the uh, electronics and get on all that stuff. And then patch in the back and, you know, just, we're going to, yeah, we're going to get it back up and running. But we got to definitely part to it, so. Mainly because we're out of time for today and we still got, I'm not going to say a lot to do, but figuring out to do. And so with that, we're just going to, yeah, call this a good win and we'll be back to finish it up. And as always, thank you guys so much for the freaking support, the love. Thanks for joining us as we do the part one of our electronic motorcycle adventure with Denny Shenani Schnoogans. <laughs> It's, I don't, I've never called him that before. I don't know why I just did that. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to go to our Amazon wish list and to tell your friends and family and all your coworkers that ETM 540 Clubhouse is coming for you. That's right. <laughs> okay, stop it. Shut that. Set the ramp up and. Yes, sir.